Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another edition of Crash Course. I'm your host, Dan, and on today's episode, we're gonna be talking about how to do a front end alignment on your golf cart with just some simple hand tools. Now, before we get started on this particular cart, I wanna go over the differences between toe and camber. So toe is the relation of the two tires in relation to each other. So when we talk about a golf cart, typically we wanna have a toe in of about an eighth of an inch to a 16th of an inch. And what I mean by toe in is that means that the front of the tires are between an eighth and a 16th of an inch closer than the rear of the tires. Now, when we talk about camber, we are talking about the relation between the top of the wheel and the bottom of the wheel. So if we have something that is called negative camber, we would have the top of the wheel would be closer into the cart than the bottom of the wheel. And with positive camber, it'd be the other way around. The top of the wheel would be further out from the cart than the bottom of the wheel. Now, every cart is different, and some carts in particular, like Yamahas, come with a lot of positive camber from the factory. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're making your alignment. So the cart that we're gonna be working with today is an EasyGo RXV. So we've taken the front bumper off of this. That's not a necessary step, but it will make your life a lot easier when you are going to make your toe adjustments. Now, the tools that you're gonna need are going to vary a little bit between each cart, but the one that you are definitely going to need is a tape measure. And this will help you measure the front and the back distances on the tires. And on this particular cart, we're gonna be using a 17 millimeter and a 12 millimeter open-ended wrench. That the larger one is gonna to be to break loose the jam nut and the 12 millimeter is going to be to actually make the adjustments. Now, because this is an easy go RXV, that might not be the tools that you're gonna need, but it is going to be something similar. You're going to need a larger open-ended wrench and a smaller open-ended wrench to make those adjustments. Now, before we make any adjustments, we wanna make sure that we make our steering wheel straight so that when we're driving around after we've done our alignment, we can drive in a straight line with our steering wheel straight as well. So after we've done that, the next step is to measure the distance between the front of the tires and then the distance between the back of the tires. And when I'm measuring my front and the back of my tires, I wanna make sure that I'm measuring the center to the center of the tires. Now, these tires conveniently have a seam right in the middle of them, so I can just line my tape measure up and measure so the measurements that I got on my cart were 38 and 1 8 inches on the front of my tires and 39 and a quarter inches on the rear of my tires. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the adjustments to bring the rear of the tires closer and bring the front of the tires out a little more until I can get that within my tolerance of 1 8 to a 16th of an inch. So in order to make the adjustments that I need to make, I need to release my jam nut first on both sides of my steering rack. And then after I've done that, I'm gonna take my smaller wrench, for me that's my 12 millimeter wrench, and I'm gonna stick it on the adjustment part of the steering rack. And this way I can rotate it any way that I need to in order to make the adjustment on the steering rack itself. Now, something to keep in mind is you wanna make your adjustments even on both sides. So if I were to take my wrench and rotate it one full turn on the passenger side, I wanna rotate it one full turn on the driver's side as well. That helps keep everything even. And once you've made your adjustments and you've verified that you're within that tolerance of 1 8 to a 16th of an inch, you can go ahead and lock your jam nuts back down. And once you've locked your jam nuts down, that will complete your adjustment for the toe on your golf cart. So now let's jump into the camber adjustments. So making your camber adjustments is pretty much the same across the board if you have the ability to make those camber adjustments. But like I said before, every cart's gonna be a little bit different and you might have some different camber adjustments. Now, with this particular cart, we have three different camber positionings on the cart. So if we wanted to change the camber, what we would do is we could actually leave the wheel on and leave it on the ground, and we could remove this top shock bolt and pull it out and make the adjustment to wherever we wanted in terms of our camber. Chances are when you make any camber adjustments, you're also going to have to adjust your toe. So make sure you double check that after you've made your camber adjustment, just to make sure that we're still within that tolerance that we mentioned earlier. And you can follow those same steps that we mentioned earlier as well. Once you've adjusted your camber and verified that your toe is where it's supposed to be, that'll complete your front end alignment. Just make sure that before you go drive anywhere that everything is locked down and tight to keep you safe. Thanks for watching this episode of Crash Course, and I'll see you next time.